study permit and visa, and genuine temporary entrant assessment. Choosing to study in Australia is a significant step forward towards a promising future. You must first finalise a few crucial pieces of information before proceeding. A student visa, especially a student visa, subclass 500, is one of the most important things you'll need. The student visa permits you to live, work and study in Australia for up to five years, depending on your degree. During term time, you are permitted to work a maximum of 40 hours a fortnight and during study breaks, you are permitted to work an unrestricted number of hours. Students pursuing a research postgraduate degree, as well as students working in essential areas such as tourism and hospitality, enjoy more work hours flexibility. International students must additionally complete a questionnaire known as the Genuine Temporary Entrant, GTE, evaluation when applying for admission. GTE is used to show that a student is travelling to Australia for genuine study objectives and that they will be able to return home after their studies are over. The questionnaire consists of a series of questions designed to identify candidates who are using the student visa program for reasons other than obtaining a good education. Before accepting their admission offer, students must complete their GTE questionnaire. After students apply, some universities will provide them a link to complete the GTE questionnaire, while others may ask them to do it when they deliver a conditional offer of admission. Students must also submit a statement of purpose, which discusses their history, present academic intentions, and future professional goals, in addition to the GTE questionnaire. The following are some of the topics that should be discussed. Previous study and gap in previous study, if any. Current employment, if any, and potential employment in home country after graduation. The value of chosen course to the student's future. Ties to home country or country of residence. Evidence of financial, family or social ties to show they have significant incentives to return home situations in their home country or country of residence, the reasons for not studying there, and their ties that support their intention to return. When making a visa decision, visa officers pay great attention to the facts in the statement of purpose. Following the submission of the GTE questionnaire, education providers will invite the student for an online or in-person interview. Institutions may choose to skip the interview in particular instances. The sort of visa you'll require is determined by the type of education you intend to pursue and the length of time you want to stay in Australia. Your visa application will require different information depending on your nationality and the course you're doing. In general, you'll require Enrollment confirmation Your electronic confirmation of enrollment The details of your health insurance Overseas student health cover policy a statement from you as a genuine temporary entrant GTE Proof of your English abilities A passport that is up to date The cost of your visa application If you're under the age of 18, you'll need to supply extra documentation, such as parental approval. While overseas student health cover is required, private health, travel, house and belongings, and auto insurance are also available in Australia. You must obtain overseas student health cover as an international student in Australia for the length of your studies in Australia. There are, however, various forms of insurance that you may find beneficial. International students and their dependents, for example, spouse and children under the age of 18, who are pursuing formal education in Australia must get overseas student health cover. It covers doctor consultations, certain hospital care, ambulance transport, and a restricted range of medicines. OSHC insurers can provide a wide range of policies. These can range from a basic product that simply covers the legally required minimum services to comprehensive products that cover, in addition to the legally required minimum services, additional services as defined by the policy. Visa Compliance Once you have received your visa, there are requirements you must meet in order for it to remain valid, including you must remain enrolled and maintain satisfactory course progress and attendance. If you wish to change your qualification level, you may need to apply for a new student visa. Provide your Australian address to your institution so they can contact you. 
and let them know if you change address. You must continue to be able to support yourself financially while you're in Australia. Do not breach the working conditions applicable to your visa. Visa help and assistance. The Department of Home Affairs website provides all information in relation to visa requirements, responsibilities and compliance. Your institution's international student support staff can provide you with assistance about the visa you'll need for your course.